you guys, you speaking of movies, y'all surpassed just rap. K Kid and Play go on to do five feature films together, all based around hip hop characters and themes. Um, Jazzy Jeff spoke before and he said that originally House Party was written with them in mind, meaning Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. New Line Cinema, if I got this correct, um, they they sued Fresh Prince and Jazzy for the for the nightmare on my street. Similar because it was it, it, it took images from Nightmare on Elm Street. But they liked them so much, they they sued them, got a few dollars, but said, listen, we think you guys got something. We want you to come and, you know, audition for a couple of movies. And one of those movies just happened to be House Party. Do you know anything about that? Let me help straighten that all out. For Go you. ahead. And even Jess will attest to what I'm about to say. The movie was always had Kid and Play in mind. When we would be out there at the uh, independent label social events, the social parties for Christmas and holiday parties and stuff, which was real big at that time, because that was when the indies ruled profile records, sutra records, select records, all of that. Uh, when we would be at those parties, Reggie and Warrington would always approach us because of our music videos and tell us, yo, we got this script that's perfect for you guys. And we would run into them as their journey would evolve. Kid and Herbie gave them more attention to a certain degree than I did. I wasn't in my head being disrespectful to them because I just didn't see that for myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To make a movie. Then on top of that, a lot of people don't remember or even know that two of the greatest MCs at that time did a movie too. And it didn't fare very well. And it was called Tougher Than Leather, Run DMC. Oh, yeah. So in my mind, thinking I'm a businessman too, if these cats can't pull off a hit movie, which hip hop had been struggling to do for a while to have that box office hit. Wild Style. Um, uh, what's the other one um, that uh, Harry Belafonte produced? Um, what are we talking? We're not breaking in, in all of those things. Well, you had you had Crush Groove. Yep. You had Wild Style. I can't. Uh, I hate myself as a movie expert in this one because the one that um, uh, Ozzy Davis's son played the lead in. Uh, it'll come to me when I stop thinking about it. So anyway, these movies didn't fare well, especially with the hip hop community. We felt they weren't really as authentic as they needed to be, and we all had our issues with it. So I'm like, I don't even want to get caught up in that right there. If You're not broke, talking Crush Groove. It, it's, I said Crush Groove, Wild Style. It's another one in there. Harry Belafonte had produced it, and the hip-hop community was excited about it because this was the first time a major official movie star was behind a hip-hop movie. It was the one with Ray Don Chong in it. She played the lead. Um, Ozzy Davis's son played it. Anyway, we'll get to it. So anyway, um, so I'm thinking, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We making more money than we've ever seen in our lives touring with our music, music videos, records, all of that kind of stuff. So I would just entertain them when they would approach us when we see them at the parties. Real cool guys anyway. So to make a long story short, which might be too late, what ended up happening was they told us that, um, that it was time for a meeting and they wanted us to come to this uh, in Midtown Manhattan up on the umpteen floor with the New Line Cinema powers that be. We went there. They were calling out things for us to do impromptu. We felt like we failed miserably. But what ended up happening was when it was time, it was lunchtime. Yeah, no, school was letting out. It was like three o'clock or something like that. I think one of the VIPs of the company was ready to go have some lunch. So when it was time for us to leave, we thought we failed miserably. They ain't gonna cast us because we were horrible. We go downstairs, the guy VIP walks us downstairs. It just happened to be school letting out. When we walked out the door of this building, all these students saw us, hard to miss us with kids' hair. They lost their minds. We was like Elvis. They were like, our lives was almost as far as ripping at our clothes the whole nine. 
the VIP went back upstairs real quick and said, yo, let's cast these guys because he saw the magic. What happened was where the Will Smith and my our dude Jeff got involved was New Line Cinema were trying to be smart businessmen. We're taking a risk with this movie. Let's try and hedge our bets as much as possible. Will Smith and Jeff was established, but it just so happened, right hand not knowing what the left hand is doing, another branch of our company is suing these guys for, like you said, Nightmare on My Street. Will and Jeff is like, what are you, crazy? Asking us to do a movie and you're suing us too? So they wasn't having it. But Reggie and Warrington Hudlin, the producers and the creators and the director of House Party, wanted us from Jump Street. 